And Guru Rinpoche's life is about in great contrast to the historical Buddha of anyone you could possibly fathom. He's actually out there and he's working with wild and wrathful spirits. And the whole purpose is designed to give the great shock. He liked to break the duality systems. Numerous times he was kicked out of places he had been brought to teach. Other times he was punished for behavior that was meant to shock in the direction of enlightenment. He's not what we would consider a virtuous saint, but no one can deal with the darkness better than Guru Rinpoche. So many people think he's the Buddha of our times. Guru Rinpoche is a field of awakened energy that took form in the 8th century but continues to be active in the universe. The power of Guru Rinpoche lies in his inclusivity. There's no discrimination in that mind. You're in Guru Rinpoche's land. His life story is embedded in every rock and stone. His inner mind is expressed in the landscape itself. That energy field enters into your energy field and alters it. It's almost like the cells in your body are changed. Across the rolling hills I come riding. Across the rolling hills I come riding. Guru Rinpoche is the foundation of Tibet's great achievement of completely transforming its native culture. It means the culture of support for every individual, female, male, young, old, so the maximum number can develop their maximum enlightenment. Guru Rinpoche can talk. Guru Rinpoche can and in the end, Guru Rinpoche said, Tibet will go under China, but the real Buddhists still flourish around the world. People on the other side of the world from Tibet are now entranced, enlightened by this myth. It's a wonderful thing. We all have this perfect, pure capacity living within us.